Where is he? He's inside the rock. That was like an invisible spider and Fluffy killed it. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? G'day people, I'm oh, Monster Dad, and welcome back to our current adventure with Christian Mondragon here. Um, first of all, apologies, uh, it's flu season down under, and although I didn't have flu over the past couple of weeks, I have been a little bit ill. Um, man flu, we know how serious man flu is, don't we? <laughs> but uh, it's not very good making a video when you're coughing, sneezing, and sniffing all the way through it. It isn't very nice to listen to, and it takes forever to edit it all out. Um, so yeah, I've had to take a break for a Probably about two weeks, I think it is now. I haven't in the game though, playing, making up some time. We've got, oh, the purge is nearly upon us, or nearly in that purge zone. So, these guys, um, if you can remember, we'll pay a visit down here today anyway, but just there's a, the Hunter's View camp there, but the, just there, there's a small camp that isn't, doesn't show up as a, as like a marker when you when you discover it but there's one guard and one um thrall artisan thrall and it ranges between from what i've seen so far a uh, carpenter tanner armorer and blacksmith so i managed to get a level one armorer which is pretty poxy really all he all he does is make silk i think it is yeah silk he, level 2, Carpenter, um, pretty good. Uh, it's, we'll look at some of the recipes. Yeah, 7 wood, usually 10. So he seems to cut down the ingredients by about a third, um, or almost a third, as good as a third to make no difference. So that's pretty good. And in the moment, at the moment I've got another thrall whoop, cooking up. I put, I put one of the small... Uh, wheels of pain here because I was going down there and I thought well you know I've got to tame up these ones down here because I'm after the artisans I know we had that one over there that I got the four archers and we went down and got those and I think they're currently yeah tucked away <coughs> with some re reserve crocodiles in Troy here so in here at the moment I actually have a armor at level three. Oh, he's nearly done um, now, I put a second one here because they're fairly cheap to make, just in case I came across any more level 2 or 3 artisans down there and I didn't want to waste the opportunity because when you log off, log back on, the, the type of artisan that, that spawns can differ, can change. So, oh, they've gone into sync now. They weren't synchronised when I first put that down. Isn't that weird? That must happen when you log back on then. <laughs> synchronized wheel pushing well done boys um, as you can see I've got a couple of hyena here I'm not sure if I had them at the end of the last episode or not but as I've been going across there I've been finding baby you know the hyena cubs I've been grabbing those when I can and there's five cooking up down in the in the where is it there it is down in the um, thingy thingy jiggy the pet taming area um, so I'll have to see what they've got. So a fairly quick episode this one, just to have an update as to what I've been doing. Because at the moment I'm kind of just um, creating, crafting resources, taming pets, taming thralls, just preparing for the purge. And let me show you, uh, do you know what, let's go down this way so you can see it from down here. Whee! So here's the croc army down here still, and boom, I've progressed a bit with this now. Um, yeah, I'm really beginning to like the look of this. So got the crenellated walls on the top there, so we can put the archers on there, they'll be able to fire down. And I popped two of the siege cauldrons, I haven't put any oil in them yet, but I'm going to put some oil in them. Um, what I might do... Oh, let's move this guy. I'm going to sacrifice one of these for experimentation purposes. I'm going to pop this bad boy 
right here and we're going to test this siege, siege cauldron. Sorry, Croc. What, um, 2746 hit points. That's quite a lot of hit points for a Croc, isn't it? Considering they're reasonably easy to kill. So let's pop that and go up. Um, get some, I think it's just oil we put in those. So I've got some oil in the presses, the fluid presses. So I'll grab that. I haven't progressed with the inside of this as yet. Or the roof. But will at some point. So I should have some oil. Let's just take that oil at the moment. Pop that in there. I'll be interested to see A, how much oil it uses for each time you use it. And B, what kind of damage it does. So if we open that. Open. 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 Why can't I access the inventory on that one? I've accessed it previously. Oh, that, isn't that weird? Oh, I can now. So if we put some oil into there. I wonder if it'll dump the whole... Let's find out. So we put 28, so we should get... So that just opens it. I'm led to believe we just press this lever and it should work. So no, let's just destroy, cancel, interact. Now that's just opening the inventory really, isn't it? Okay, so how do we... actually get it to spill its oil on the enemies down below. I'm pretty sure I've put it the right way around because it only goes one way. It has to fit on one of these crenellated walls. Um, am I going stupid or is it just not working? Do I need to... this? Uh, let's cancel that. Let's um, go to first person view and see if we can get a bead on this handle. No, that's all it's doing. It's just giving me the option to to do that, to open. Hmm. First person, by the way, is P, if you, if you weren't aware of that. Okay, let's take it out of that one. Let's try the other one and see if the same thing happens. <laughs> There we go, let's just pop that into there. Does it need to be one in each slot? I wouldn't have thought so. Let's move away from it, go back. No. Hmm, because that's all you do on the levers for the lifts, you press E to interact with it. Oh, I want the oil in this one, don't I? Whee! Let's grab that oil out of there again. I'm, I'm certain it's just oil. Um, that you use to fill these. I'm led to believe there's nothing else that's used in it. Okay, I'm going to have to look that up and we'll we'll give it a try before the end of the episode, hopefully. This is a pain. <laughs> the ladder's disappeared completely now. I didn't take it off. So, we'll just do it the, the old-fashioned way, I guess. Um, I guess we could put our archers down there, couldn't we? We will do it at some point. Um, but today's episode, what I want to do is, is I want to start doing things like dyeing the the, the armor different colors. I want to choose some colors for us, stick a banner up, um, be, and hopefully before the purge happens, and, and decide on some colors that we'll maintain throughout the episode, just so we've got a, a certain look. Because at the moment, just using all the the bog standard armor colors as they come when you make them but I've been collecting some stuff for some dyes where is it this box here yeah um, I do have some glass flasks and some purified water that I, I've collected off dead bodies etc but what I need to do is get some glass manufacturing going so I need some crystal so that's what I want to do this episode and I'm led to believe that there is crystal in Scuttler's shortcut 
So the main spider cave is down there, and just up a bit was that other entrance to it, which is Scutler's shortcut. Now, I believe there's a bunch of crystal in there. Oh, yeah, and they've changed the stacking for a lot of the other stuff now as well. Um, so, let's have a look. Where did I put all my leather and stuff? Let's look in the arms bench. So, yeah, you can stack more than 100 and things like the leather, the twine, and all, all the other stuff as well. I've been making some light and medium um, base armor sets so we can make some armor because I want to put some, I want to have some medium armor ready for when the purge happens. Um, I don't think it's suitable in this little get up. This is fine for exploring, but apart from that, not really. But do you know what? A blacksmith might be ready. And then what I'll do before we go down to the crystal cave is I think I will have one more check down there of what type. Oh, yeah. What type of um, artisan has spawned this time? So, a blacksmith. That's what I've been hoping for a blacksmith. And a level three as well. Um, that should make production of stuff. Oh, he's an armourer. Not a blacksmith. Oh, you oh, fiddlesticks. I thought he was a blacksmith. I'm really after an armourer. That's what I'm really after. So let's take this guy out. Put this one in. See if he gives us any recipes. Oh, so he's given us these. So the weave as well. And the exceptional Aquilonian shield. Oh, cool. Do I need to be a certain level to unlock it? Serpent Man Shield. He did give us those, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah. So we got some. So he's mainly a shield maker. Mm, not much use for what we want, but should reduce the amount of stuff it takes. Let's have a quick look. So I've got a medium. Exceptional medium boots. All oh, right. Okay. So that's just the basic medium armor set, but he do, he, he, we can craft the exceptional stuff. And that's pretty cheap as well. Well, that's nice to know. So if we look at the chest padding, seven and three, what does it cost without him in there? I can't remember now. Ten and five. Okay, so reduces the amount. Oops, wrong one. And he gives us some other... Recipes as well. Nice. Oh, it's dark. So I'll chuck this other guy in the chest. Um, we don't really need him at the moment. Oh, let's pick one over here. I mean, sort out my inventory. I really do. Okay, I've got the night on pretty fast. So if we head down... Have I got the stuff on me I need? Yeah. If we head down to that little camp, I'll show you where it is. And then we can see what's come up this time. I should probably eat. I'm on the exquisite meat now, the cooked exquisite meat. I thought I might as well start eating that stuff. I was using it for the um, breeding the crocs initially, but I'm, I'm done breeding crocs at the moment. The hyena. It was just the feral flesh that they need for, I think it's a 10% chance of getting a, a greater one. Oh, I'm going to have to deal with this guy, aren't I? Oh, they always get a, a hit in, don't they, these guys? I find the hyenas really difficult to fight. Really difficult. Oh, the other thing I learned as well with when you harvest these guys and you get the the hyena pelt, and same with the other pen, other pelt, you put them in the the armorer's bench, and you can get three skins per one of these. Um, and then what you normally do is stick skins into the the uh, tanners, and you'll get one tar for every. Oh, so you get, um, it takes three skins for one leather, but you get one tar from it as well. If you tick, stick those straight into the tanner's bench as they are, you get three skins, oh, sorry, you get um, one leather for each of these, so they're worth 88 leather, but you also get one tar. Now, the only it's exactly the same 
resource amounts that you get but you use less bark doing it so and it's faster to get the tar from them rather than converting them all into leather uh, all into into hides then converting the hides into the leather and then the then getting the tar from that i hope that made sense let's kite this guy all right from here so the one that's walking around is always the guard and the one sitting down is always the the artisan Ooh, he's got a big pike he really just kicked me boy oh we just gained level oh what do we got smelter one okay i'm gonna kill him Oh, but saying that, I don't have any smelters, so smelters would be probably pretty useful to have. Um, because I've got so many... Because I have so many um, furnaces going, I guess it wouldn't hurt just to... Yeah, I guess it wouldn't hurt just to have, you know, a few of the smelters as and when I get them. I'll leave him here for the moment and then what I'm going to do is grab this guy's essence and see what he's got on him. Where did he go? Over here. What's he got? More pure for a wall. That's perfect because I'm going to need that for making the jars of water that then are used to make the dyes. And there's always a chest here as well, so it's worth checking that as well. Oh, nice. I'll take that. Oh, brimstone. I'm out of brimstone. I'll take the bones because use those for dyes as well as composting. Let's grab this guy. Take him back. Ooh. Okay, I'll cut there and I'll see you back at the camp. Later. Okay, he's in. Boom. Let's get him going. Yeah, worth grabbing all the smelters I can get, I think. Um, because I've got so many furnaces going. Uh, let's top up my water skin. Oh, it is topped up. Cool. Okay. Right, so. Whee! Yeah, that was a disappointment though. I'm still trying to find a blacksmith level 2 or 3. Preferably level 3. Um, two of them actually, because I've got two black blacksmith benches. But um, yeah, we'll get there eventually. Carpenter's level 3, I think I said. Yeah. Oh, no, he's level 2. I thought he was level 3 carpenter. Oh, it was the armor that's level three, the new armor. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to dump a load of gear, um, get some stuff together, and then we're going to head down Scuttler's Shortcut Cave to grab some crystal, start some glass production. So I'll see you in just a moment. Later. Okay. Welcome back. Yeah. Oh, I'm just heading down to the town pen. Me and this spider have got an understanding. Every time I come down here, he says hello, and I kill him. <laughs> I've killed that spider so many times, I honestly cannot count them. So there were five hyena in here, and they should all be... Yeah, I can see them all lying around there. So let's see what we've got. Hyena, 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 hyena. Greater hyena. Oh yeah. And they've eaten all the feral flesh as well. Lots of poo. Do you know what? Let's take him with us and see what they're like. So, actually, he can carry crystal as well, can't he? So, what do we want? We want to follow. So, what's he got? 8,000. Wow. So, it's the same as the great shellback with the, and the greater croc with the health. And they should be faster attack than the shellback and the croc. So, it should be useful against the spiders. It's only smaller, so he can fit in the cave. Oh, we need a name for him. What are we going to call you? Oh, what are we going to call him? What are we going to call him? He's a cutie, so let's call him something along the lines of... Hmm. Fluffy. There we go. Come on, Fluffy. Let's head down to Scuttler's Shortcut, which is a bit further over here, isn't it? 
that. So there's the main cave. It's got the shortcut. It's just up there, isn't it? I should really grab a little sallow as I'm going past as well, but I can't bother at the moment. You coming, buddy? Come on. Here, boy. Was it here? It was here, wasn't it? Or was it? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was further on. Oh, no. No, okay. Come at the wrong bit. Come on, Fluffy. This way. Okay, it's here, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I can hear the spiders already. Oh! Come on, Fluffy, sort them out. Oh, chill out, stamina. <laughs> um, do we need Ica? You know, I, I don't know if I can be bothered to harvest the acre at the moment. I think we'll just head in there and get the crystal. That's what we came for. All right. Have we been in here yet? I can't remember. I don't think there's brimstone here. I'm really short of brimstone as well, but I don't think there's any in here. So I might as well grab the gossamer while we're in here as well. We find any. Oh, what's this? This one of the spitters, isn't it? He's a bit tougher. Go on, finish more fluffy. Well done. Crystal. Here we go. So it was true. There is crystal in this cave. So what do we do? Just oh, uh, we just use E to harvest them. Okay. And hopefully these are stacking in more than a hundred now as well. We get quite a lot from them, don't you? Still going. Wow. Is there more? Okay, well, Fluffy, you can carry these. Yes, good. So it looks like it's going to stack in either 500 or 1,000, which is great. At this rate, we won't have to go in very far, will we? But when, since we're in here, we might as well have a look all the way down. I, can't, I really can't remember whether we've been in or not. Did we have a look in here? I'm led to believe this... I know we went in the main spider cave in one of the earlier episodes um, and got down to that big open area where there was a boss spider. And I'm led to believe this comes through the same area. I say I'm led to believe I'm stuck in a thousand. Oh, wow, we could take a ton of this stuff. I say I'm led to believe it. I may have actually seen it if we'd been in here before. <laughs> I haven't found any Gosma yet though. Another spider. Which, oh, there's some Gosma. Good. Where are you going, buddy? I'm over here. Oh, he's off. Good. He's taking. Oh, do you know what? What I don't want him doing. He's going down and fighting that boss. Ouch. Why are you taking so long? Taking him out, Fluffy. Oh, I wish there was brimstone in here as well. I really do. Yeah, it definitely isn't, is there? No. Mm. Yeah, I don't have a huge amount of silk left because I had to repair this armour once already. So I might as well grab all that. Wow, look at all that crystal. Something spitting at me. And missing badly. <laughs> it must be just behind that rock there. <laughs> 
Oh, okay, well it was shot through the rock this time. I'm gonna have to go and take care of that, aren't I? Where is he? He's inside the rock. That was like an invisible spider and Fluffy killed it. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? It was, because um, it was shooting from the top of this and I couldn't see it, but Fluffy could. Well done, Fluffy. I'm glad I brought you with me. Is that a thing? Invisible spiders? I can hear them, but I can't see them. Again. It's coming through there again, isn't it? at the air but killed it oh that's freaky <laughs> and another one this is going to be some kind of glitch here isn't it oh. okay let's see if I can just get out of the way and do it there is so much crystal this take forever wouldn't it do you ever need this much crystal? So I was thinking of making the poison gas orbs as well, but you need to collect the mushrooms, and there aren't, there aren't many mushrooms around the map as far as I'm aware. Um, I can't remember how much glass the crystal makes. Hmm. Do, 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 do. <laughs> How much have we got? Where's Fluffy on now? Oh, he's... That one, that's really annoying me, that is. That's, it is, it's shooting from inside the rock. And then he's killing it. Crippling poison. keeps hitting me as well. I'll let him deal with that. How much have we got? Another 500. So he's got 500. 1,000. That'll do for now. Now I can test as to... He's just going to have to follow me. Um, then I can test as to how much glass we get from that. Oh, how did I miss that lot? It's not brimstone, is it? No, it isn't, is it? No, it's just stone. Darn it. These aren't brimstone, are they? No, they're nothing. You can't harvest them. Okay. Whatevs. What's that? Nothing. Nothing. Come on, Fluffy. Let's get out of here. Yes, that seems to be a bit glitched, that cave, on that little bit there. Oh, I need some of these for my dyes. Uh, what do I need to harvest those with? Doo doo. Hatch it, I bet. Cochineals, that's what I need uh, for the red dye. Might as well grab them while we're here. Yeah, I haven't decided what colours to go for um, with the dyes for the armours, but I want to come up with some combination that's easy to do on most armours and it stands out nicely so we can just, you know, as we're playing through and change our armours, we can just dye them into our, our colours. Just leave those guys alone. Yeah. Come on, let's head back then. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to head back. And then when we get there, what I'm going to do... These desert berries. Need those for dyes as well. Um, what I'm going to do when I get back is dump this stuff off. Leave fluffy there 
and then I'm going to head down to that camp one more time and see what artisan spawned this time and then we'll call it an episode. So I'll see you there in just a moment. Later. Okay, welcome back. I had to hang on here for a little while because it was night time by the time I got here. Um, where's the guard? Over there. Do you know what? I think we'll probably just let the guard go this time. The guard is got off lightly. Who are you? What do you got? An armor level one. Do you know what? I'm just going to kill him. I don't need an armor. Yeah, don't need another armor. Not level one anyway. What a shame. Take your essence, though, buddy. I'll take your coal. You can keep the rest. Let's see what's in the chest. Do do do. Oh, might as well eat one of those, haven't I? In fact, let's eat both of them. Oh, a bit more brimstone. Okay, I'll leave the rest. Yeah, that guard wandered over there somewhere. Yeah, forget that. Oh, what a shame. But it's only a little short run down here, though. That's a good thing. Um, yeah, and I'm getting some, beginning to get some decent artisans from that, which is good. So I think I'll call it an episode there. It's been pretty successful. Was a way episode, a way of episodes go. We. Um, normally I have to take them up around that way when I'm dragging them past a couple of spiders, but I just tend to run past those. Because uh, I, I don't think you can take them up a lift. And I can't climb the wall with them. But this time, I think I'll go in the front door. Yeah, so it's... Oh, by the way, it's one glass for two crystal. I discovered... Oh, we never tested out that cauldron. I'll work that out um, before the next episode. We, I, and then first thing we'll do in the next episode is test that cauldron. Um, it's definitely on the right way because there's only one way round it can actually fit when you try and put them on to the attach them to the crenellated wall. And it's definitely oil that it takes. Um, yeah. I wonder if it's because there's no enemy. Be like, oh no, that shouldn't matter. You should just be able to tip it out regardless, shouldn't you? I'm certain of that. But yeah, but it's beginning to look nice. Um, I do like this this design. Yeah, so the whole bottom floor now does have the reinforced stuff on it. All the way around. So as long as the purge comes in this direction... So the other thing is, is one of the, the purge may hit one of our other camps. Um, we've got that first base there, and we've got the sep outpost there. There's always a chance they'll just attack one of those. If they do, then you know we'll have lost them because we'll never get to them in time to defend them. And they're only made of sandstone, really. There's, you know, sep outpost has got a few benches and some resources there, um, but nothing that can't be replaced fairly easily. And the, the base down by the river has a couple of level one artisans on it that are grabbed from the nearby camps. But apart from that, nothing much really. Mm. So is that smelt already? Might as well pop him in just before we leave. He is indeed. Let's put him in there and see what effect he has. And then we'll call it an episode. Whee! Luffy's just over there. Guarding that top of the camp. So if we put him... Oh, you know, I really should go on the steel one. But this one's going at the moment. So let's see what effect this has. Nothing much. Two, three. Two, three. Doesn't seem to make any difference whatsoever. I imagine it's a little bit faster. Oh yeah, it's definitely going through faster. Well, I hope he doesn't die of heat stroke. I can't normally do. <laughs> but I mean, you know, even a series of level one smelters along there, it's going to speed up the, the crafting if nothing else. Um, so yeah, there we go. Well, I'm going to call it an episode there. 
thank you for watching please press that like button if you enjoyed that it helps grow the channel um, I'm a monster and I'll see you next time later